Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a pretty quick video for you here today. XSTAR has sent me over their newest battery charger. This is the L4 Pro. Um, it will do AA and AAA batteries. It will do nickel metal hydride and also lithium ion. This thing is packed with a ton of features and is very inexpensive. So I thought it was something you guys might be interested in. Double A and triple A are the most common size of batteries in the world. And if you buy the name brand ones like Duracell or Energizer, you know they are very expensive. Um, and if you buy the cheaper ones, you also know they probably only last half as long in whatever you're using them in. And there are a lot of devices in your home that you know use double A and triple A batteries. Everything from like computer mouse, uh, remote controls. I even still use these old school type radios uh, during like power outages and stuff like that. If you have kids, you know that all their toys take double A's and triple A's. Um, or if you have like gaming systems, uh, some of the old like Nintendo Wii's and the Xboxes, their controllers use double A batteries and you can burn through them pretty quick. And for me personally, I'm a huge flashlight nerd and I prefer the double A and triple A size flashlights. So I go through a lot of those batteries. So in order to save myself some money and always have charged batteries on hand, I bought these Inna Loops. Uh, these are nickel metal hydride, uh, AA and AAA size batteries several years ago and I've been using them quite a bit since. I also bought some of these Iteal branded ones a couple years ago. Um, Again, the initial cost is quite a bit more than just a double A battery, but when you can charge these hundreds of times, you save so much money in the long run. And just like the Inna Loops, these are also nickel metal hydride. But this charger will do nickel metal hydride and lithium ion. So a few months ago, I got some of these double A batteries from XSTAR, and these are 1.5 volt lithium ion batteries and honestly since i got these ones i've only been using these in pretty much everything these batteries here are 1.2 volts and some of my flashlights they don't work in because the voltage isn't high enough and i've had other uh, types of toys and whatever devices and stuff but the 1.5 volts is the exact same voltage as a regular double a and they pretty much work in everything. But I also have like dozens of these little cases. They're very inexpensive on Amazon, uh, but I, I keep them like labeled where I know which ones are charged and which batteries need charged. And one last thing before we get into the charger. Again, this will do 1.2 nickel metal hydride and 1.5 lithium ion. These two batteries here look exactly the same but this is a 10440 and it's a 3.7 volt. Even though these look identical, this charger will not charge a 3.7 volt battery. These two over here look identical, but this is a 14500. Again, it's a 3.7 volt. Um, so same sizes pretty much, but it will not charge this battery here. It's only 1.2 and 1.5 volts. All right, let's do a real quick unboxing and then I'll go over some of the features and specifications of this charger, um, show you guys how to use it. You're welcome to pause and read any of this stuff that you want here. There are a couple QR codes. It looks like a Facebook group and the website. There's a UPC number there. All right, show you everything that comes with this here. Looks like we got a charging cable up top here, USB A to C. Got the charger itself. And it looks like a manual. Get this out. And that is everything. Quickly show you the manual, only in the English. Again, you are welcome to pause and read any of this that you wish. So here is the L4 Pro, super small, compact, about the size of the palm of your hand, basically. Grab you guys some exact measurements on it. We're looking at just over four inches in length. 3.1 inches in width. And then like the height or depth of it is just over an inch. 
get you a weight three ounces if you take your power cord with it still less than four ounces so if you find that you need batteries when you travel um, or even camp or anything like that this thing's so lightweight that you could throw it in a bag easily so as you can see the l4 pro has four slots or bays for batteries we're gonna have a pretty nice lcd display here in a bit I'm um, just kind of looking over some other stuff here, maybe a little bit of venting back here uh, and then plus this big opening here, all of that prevents overheating. I'll show you some of the specs there if the lighting will focus for you. And the USB-C port is up on top. So one of the first really nice features about this charger is not only can it do 1.2 volt and 1.5 volt, it can do them at the same time. Um, so the way I have this loaded right now, I could completely charge this. It will also do AA and AAA at the same time. And because it's a smart charger, whatever bay you put these in, it automatically detects if it's a lithium ion battery or a nickel metal hydride and starts charging appropriately for that battery. So not only does that hole in the back help dissipate some of the heat, but it'll also let you put your finger in here to pop those batteries out with ease. Um, another feature of this charger is if you tried putting like an alkaline battery in here, which I'll show you in a bit, you'll get an error message up on this slot or this bay telling you that that battery is not a rechargeable battery. So most normal alkaline batteries have like an eight to 10 year shelf life. So whatever the capacity is of these, it will maintain that for several years. Nickel metal hydride batteries do not do that. Like whenever you charge them up, they do start losing their capacity somewhat quickly. And one of the ways of keeping these batteries healthy is to actually discharge them and then fully recharge them. And this uh, little L4 Pro can actually do that. You can put a battery in here and it will completely drain it and then fully recharge it. And if you have batteries that are fairly new, uh, they have a cycle or a mode on this. It's basically called refresh or quick refresh. And it'll do that cycle just one time. Um, if you have like older batteries, it will do that cycle four times, which again improves the performance of the battery and like the lifespan of it. Another feature of this charger is that it does have low voltage uh, battery recovery. And I've had this happen to me before with other chargers where a battery is basically maybe set in a flashlight for years and it drained so low that you put it in a charger and the charger just will not charge it. it like it doesn't detect anything is even in that spot. Um, this charger will detect it and will start charging. Quickly show you some of the other safety features of this. Again, you can pause and look over those. All right, let's get this plugged in. Uh, keep in mind that you are gonna need some type of uh, five volt wall charger. Here's what the display looks like. And as you can see right now, we're on charge. If we press and hold this, it'll go to different modes. So that is the discharge. That's the refresh that I talked about and then back to charge. Let's throw a few batteries in. We'll make sure that it detects it. We have a nickel metal hydride here first. See what this shows. So it is showing NIMH and then it's showing that we're charging. So this is like a, a status indicator. Um, basically it's like 25% for each one. Um, I'm not sure where this battery is at. It's just been sitting in a case for a while. So it, it may be near empty or it might like stabilize. We'll let it just keep running here. Um, got another nickel metal hydride. This is that little triple A. Again, it detected that. Let's do the um, lithium ion next. Right next to it. And it does say lithium ion 1.5 volt. So it's detecting all of that. And that green uh, flashing light is actually on the battery itself. And then we got another nickel metal hydride over here. Let's get that one in. So a very nice display on that. 
I won't bore you guys with all, but I'm going to let this run for a while and uh, top all of these off. But I did want to show you that these three here do seem to be low. That's why it's going all the way down and then all the way back up. Um, but this one over here, you can tell is at least 75 plus percent full. So it's just having to top this one off. So it might be kind of hard to tell right now, but the screen is actually dimmed down significantly. I'll hit this button here to bring it back up. So it actually dims down like that so that the charger itself uses less power. And the reason that that's important is that you can just use a battery bank to charge this. Like you do not have to use like a wall adapter. You can just plug it into something like this here and that will work perfectly fine for charging this up. And that screen dims down after one minute. The other way that you can kind of wake the screen up is just to remove one of the batteries. And as you can see now, we just came back to full brightness. So let's take some non-rechargeable Duracells, throw in here and see what happens with them. We're supposed to get error messages. Now it is showing nickel metal hydride. Um, I'll let this go for a minute and see if I end up getting the error message. Well, as you can see, the screen has dimmed down, so it's been well over a minute and something, and I am not getting an error message. And I honestly don't know what happens if you leave this alkaline type battery in here for too long, and if it is trying to charge it. I don't know if this battery is going to get really hot or what. Um, I also don't know if it's a fault in this L4 Pro, but I am not getting an error message. And it definitely says that it has smart and accurate detection and that you're gonna get an error message for uh, non-rechargeable batteries. So because of that little issue right there, it got me looking at what the warranty is and I'm kind of confused on it as well. Um, it basically says there's a 15 day free exchange and then right here it says that there's a 12 month free repair. And then when you read, this product includes a 24 month free repair service starting from the day of purchase. So I don't know if it's 12 months or 24 months. I will say that I've had multiple other X-Star chargers. I've had this one here for probably six or seven years and I use it almost daily and I've never once ever had any type of issue with it. So they definitely make a reliable product that I would trust. I'm going to try some different double A's. Again, just regular double A's and triple A's. Yeah, I'm not getting an error message. I let the other one go probably three minutes before I pulled the batteries out. So unfortunately, that is a feature I would not trust right now on this L4 Pro. Um, I will reach out to XSTAR and let them know the issue that I'm having with this. So these little L4 Pro chargers are coming in under $16 right now. Um, and I think that they're great because, again, they'll do nickel metal hydride, uh, lithium ion, double A's, triple A's. But I don't know if I can recommend it right now with that issue uh, not getting the error and looking like it's charging those alkaline batteries. Um, I don't know if there's a fire risk if you try to charge an, a, a regular alkaline and a nickel metal hydride, but I know it cannot be good for that battery. There's probably a risk of that battery exploding. Um, so I, I think until XSTAR can figure that out, um, I would probably hold off on buying one of these chargers and I don't ever like doing a video where I don't recommend the product but I think there might be a safety issue right now so again what I'm gonna do is reach out to XSTAR wait for an explanation back and then I'm gonna update the video description for whatever they tell me regarding this and if I'm satisfied with that update I will leave a link for you to be able to purchase this uh, down in the video description and if there's an Amazon link, I'll leave that as well. And if I remember, I'll try to leave links for some of the other stuff. Um, I really recommend this charger and these batteries are really nice. But all right, guys, if you found the video helpful or informative in any way, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And that's going to be it on this one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.